so good morning rajat and congratulations for getting admission in phd at iit delhi so we have today rajat with us rajat has uh, done his msc from iit jodhpur and he has qualified net grf with a rank of 110 and he has also cleared gate with a all india rank of 4207 so congratulations rajat and we welcome you for this session so my first question to you is so when did you start the preparation for net yeah so professor so when i was in second year for my masters so i just in july 2021 so i took prepare code lectures from physics so uh that actually helped me a lot because uh, uh, as per my msc schedule as well so with my classes i managed to uh, with these pre recorded lectures so uh, within a uh, free time so or i make my schedule as per like uh, like uh, like uh, my class lectures of uh, msc so i schedule these like i have to manage with these uh, competitive uh, lectures as well so this was my journey so uh, from july 2021 up to november or what we can say december 2021 so i just managed with all these lectures and then i started my test series and other things so another question to you rajat so how did you manage the difficult situations during your preparation because when when one start the preparations he has some high times and low times so you must also having some uh, difficult times in your preparations yeah uh, what i mean like uh, yes uh, when uh, during my uh, masters exam and sometimes like uh, while i was on leave so there were some times uh, like uh, i was unable to uh, manage with these lectures so but yes of course uh, because these are pre recorded lectures so we can manage it by ourselves so Uh, this actually helped me and the other thing is like whenever i will uh, i faced any problem in solving any question so there is a whatsapp group uh, that is created by uh, deepak sir so actually it uh, i posted my problems there and my other fellows other students actually helped me in this and uh, wherever i find found difficulty so uh, it actually helped me a lot and the other thing is like i also consult with my uh, MSc class fellows, so uh, they actually helped me in this. So uh, the thing is, like uh, when I actually deal with uh, these assignments and what we can say the test series, so it actually provides me a diverse diversity of questions. So uh, it actually it also actually what we can say uh, clear my uh, various problems like various doubts. So. the mentors and the subject experts at this institute they are actually providing you channel they are shaping the channel so uh, it actually helps us a lot like uh, if they are providing us channel so it is it becomes easy for us to follow that and uh, whatever because uh, there is a huge bundle of uh, like uh, what we can say concepts and there are lot to learn but uh, for the competitive exams what we have to do is to like whatever we require for this particular exam we have to follow that thing but yes of course like uh, uh, whatever the firstly we have to follow the chronological order like uh, firstly we have to attend classes like uh, proper lectures and we have to uh, like make clear notes of all that and uh, we, we shouldn't miss any like uh, notes uh, like sometime we say like uh, we have pre recorded lecture so whenever we will face difficulty so we can pause and then we can start and uh, whenever we will uh, like solve problem so we can watch video again i think that is not a good criteria to go with uh, like uh, this competitive exam i think firstly we have to um, make clear notes of uh, each and every lecture and then we should uh, go to like uh, uh, weekly test or monthly test or half monthly test and then we should go to these assignments uh, in a parallel mode and uh, uh, if, uh, with this chronological order if we will go so it becomes easy Uh, it already become easy because uh, you all mentors and subject expert are providing us good channel and then if you will follow that criteria as well 
so i think uh, it becomes uh, very easy to go with these problems so this is my message for future aspirants so like uh, you so very you nice can, explanation yeah what is your experience related to our career counseling and interview support program and finally most important one the test series what is your say on it yeah firstly about this isp so for this interview support program what i can say there is a like uh, whenever we are going for phd whenever we are dealing with any any field of research so there is one thing we have to be multidisciplinary so the thing that i like the most in this isp is like, like there are students from different background from the different domain so they came together so whenever i am attending this isp so i actually try to watch uh, like other students as well and to listen them because uh, whatever uh, they have done in their masters project and uh, how question comes up like you ask and the other subject experts ask from them and uh, what i have done they all will listen so uh, firstly whenever we are going for research so we have to uh, know about other fields as well so this is the way like uh, this isp program can help uh, after uh, like uh, pursuing phd as well and uh, for me if i will say like it gives me a good idea like how questions can come and how we have to like uh, go with our fundamentals and uh, like uh, uh we have to stick with our masters project and the other things so it actually helped me a lot in that way and about the this career counseling so what we can say like uh, on instagram and like uh, i know like there is a like uh, page like in which you always post uh, this recruitment like where uh, there are recruitments of jobs and the other things for so this actually helped us Uh, like uh, D- uh, drdo and the other uh, exams uh, notification i got from them and uh, uh, and about the last one uh, this test series so yes of course uh, like i tried to spend about a month for this part test series and then the last week for the full test series that was my plan for this test series and uh, the test series was a bit good uh, frankly saying like uh, i got about 80 to 85 marks uh, out of 200 uh, in this full test series uh, like within this range but when finally exams uh, like uh, re- exam result come so it was 89 out of 200 so <laughs> a bit more and about like uh, within this range we can say so it gives me a good idea like how to approach and it actually helped us to come out of uh, this uh, like uh, uh, tense like uh, uh, whenever we will give uh, five to four three to five full tests so we actually become very convenient with this uh, final exam as well so, so this actually helped me a lot in that way very very nice very nice so now i have one final question with you rajat so what is your overall experience with physics institute in that shell yeah so sir, what i can say like i i was already a like uh, gem student uh, under physics so i actually attended like uh, weekend classes here for gem and it actually helped me a lot so For overall experience like uh, i am familiar with the like uh, uh, the teaching criteria and uh, the other thing is like uh, there is a great overlap of jam syllabus and net syllabus so uh, like uh, when i was preparing for this jam so there were there were various new things for me at that time but yes of course now in net so because i was familiar with the teaching criteria of the subject experts and uh, Uh, there were various like topics which actually overlaps with jam so it actually helped me a lot and uh, like non teaching staff as well uh, i am familiar with all all of them as well so whenever i am having any problem so they i actually directly contacted to them and they actually helped me because uh, i felt very comfortable with them as well so overall experience with physics is like what we can say uh, i l- like uh, i am very comfortable with these uh, my like my domain subjects because of like uh, i have a very uh, like uh, 
clear base uh, when I was preparing uh, for jam and now like uh, for net because I took pre-recorded lectures. So uh, in this pre-recorded lecture, there were various things that I repeat uh, like that I've already done in jam. So uh, this actually make me very comfortable and thank you physics, thank you all subject experts and uh, non-teaching faculty as well. So oh, thank you so much, Rajat, for your time and your answers, interesting answers, and all the best to you for your future and for your career. All the best. Thanks. Thank you Thanks. so much for giving your time. Thank you, Rajat. Yeah.